And this here is our next exercise. It's the parts for the circle. What we have here is we have the circle or the curve. The outside curve here is called the circumference. A line that goes through the center is uh, called a diameter. The line from the center point out to the circumference is called the radius. A line that cuts the circumference in two places is called a chord. A diameter is a special chord because it cuts the circumference in two places and goes through the center point of the circle. Up here we have just another uh, chord drawn and part of the circumference and that makes up a piece called a segment. If we look over here we have a semicircle semicircle half of a circle and down here we have a quadrant which is where there's two radii at 90 degrees to each other with part of the circumference on the outside and that's your quadrant and in this case here we have a sector there's two radii and part of the circumference and that's called a sector and over here I've drawn a line touching the circle at one point and that's called a tangent and the line that comes out from the center of the circle at 90 degrees to the tangent is uh, called a normal and here this here is just another part it's called the arc and the center here so that's the parts of the circle. Now, if you bisect a chord, the bisector will go through the center of the circle. I have this here, and I just want to use this to show you. This red line here, we'll call it a chord, and this here is the bisector. So if we position this with a uh, these two black point lines here are in on the circumference then the bisector here passes through the center if we relocate this now up to the two green points here then again the bisector here goes through the center of the circle if we move it around a little bit further get the green points in line again and draw a line passing it will pass through the center that's a way of finding the center for a circle the opposite is also true if we are given the three points to find a circle that will pass through three points a b and c you join the points which means you're forming the chords again I bisect these two lines which is what we were showing you in the last exercise and when we bisect these and draw the two lines in that locates the center for the circle that will pass through those three points and now position the compass in the center you've found and draw the circle and that's this exercise complete